Yo, welcome to a boss mule showcase video. I pretty much, well, almost finished a ice lightning boss mule since I do want all of my gear to be 17 stars and two mainline potential. Kind of overachieving for a Lotus Damien boss mule, but I do kind of want that fast weekly clear time, you know, like around 25 to 30 minutes, you know, I think that's pretty fast. And it's been quite a long time ever since I decided to make a ice lightning boss mule. Like around the middle of Destiny update, was when I decided to make one I think I don't know and I'll go over my experience so far so starting off I like to say for bossing it's uh, it's it's okay but it's only amazing with infinity on since it pretty much doubles your damage for the duration and the longer duration the stronger you'll be so you will want as much buff duration as you can get since it is affected by it. I currently have like around 100% buff duration so it does make this like around a minute and a half. Also explore mages do get unreliable memory and if you choose the infinity option you pretty much get two infinity to use so it's possible to get a semi permanent infinity with enough buff duration and of course a leveled unreliable memory. Although I only have mine at level 1 so the cooldown for it is pretty long. And without infinity on I'm quite weak and really doesn't feel good. Other than that, the slow that Ice Lightning does is pretty nice as it does allow you to kite most mobile bosses pretty easily and using other skills to DPM off first. Cooldown for these skills are almost like a minute which isn't too bad in my opinion. Speaking of burst, it's actually pretty easy to pull off as you just launch every skill you have at the boss end and since the cooldown is short it feels like you always have it up by the time the burst is ready. Just make sure to at least have Infinity on and nearing the end of its duration for a high damage output. Survivability is kind of well in my opinion not that great because you only have one iframe other than an ethereal form which every mage is get. And this iframe is your bind and when soloing the annoying bosses like Velum, Lotus, or Damien I pretty much use it right away and launch the burst. That would mean losing my only iframe frame so dodging any one shots in some situations would pretty much leave me dead. Other than that, Ice Lightnings do have a float and a debuff block. The debuff block is pretty great in bosses that has lots of falling objects or mobs like in Lotus or Gloom because once it activates it pretty much prevents you from getting debuffed again for the next 30 seconds. Like a hero's will except it's a shield. Although it does have a pretty long cooldown and since it's a toggle skill it does need to be retoggled again and most of the time in my case I forget to do it. Training in Ice Lightning is actually pretty good. Cooldown for big skills are pretty short and when Ice Age hits and cover most of the map it's really really satisfying to seeing the mobs just die on spawn. They do have a stationary summon that covers a decent range and adding along with Erda Fountain. Mobbing can be very lazy as Ice Lightning doesn't require as much movement and could still clear the entire map. Most of the skills are almost like full map attack and when bigger skills are down, Chain Lightning could clean up the rest of the mobs while waiting for the bigger skills to come back up. Pretty much a rinse and repeat cycle. Now getting to the things I dislike about this is that the bind being your only iframe really sucks because it makes you immobile for a longer duration of the bind and iframe so I will need to add ethereal form if I want a better survivability bossing with this class unless I use Erdo Nova to bind it instead and use the skill as a panic button but I don't think most people would do that. Bolt Barrage is pretty troublesome to use because the boss would need to be in the corner or edge of the map in order to get the full damage of the skill. I think it would be a quality of life change if you could stop it in place by pressing it again since it's already quite difficult to get some bosses to stay in the corner. Off burst DPM is really not that great especially when infinity is down. Relying on chain lightning and frozen orb to deal some damage is kind of slow in my opinion and using half burst doesn't feel worth it without infinity. Also bosses with damage reflect like Akechi if you have teleport mastery turn on and teleporting during will pretty much kill you so usually I would have it off at all time. Kind of dumb yeah. All in all, I think it's a pretty easy class to play and learn. Building it shouldn't require that much other than trying to get as much buff duration for infinity and could really squeeze by for a Lotus Damien boss meal with way lower stat and range than what I have. Just need to know the boss mechanics really well. Also boost notes shouldn't be that difficult to get. It can get by with just two boost notes of these three. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have about my experience. It's been a good few months building this to where I want it. On the side, I am slowly working on my other meals that are on the come up for sure and we'll have a video about them soon once I am satisfied with where I want them. And now for anyone that wants to see what I am working with or have for equipments on this character. Everything or well most of my equipments I have are up to 17 stars and legendary potential with at least like 18% main stat. For the gloves, I did get pretty lucky. Two line crit damage and like a sharp eyes third line, that's really, that's really good. But one line of crit damage is usually fine. 5 set of Absolab, 3 set of CRA, and 4 set Superior Gallux. I mean, but you don't have to like get this much because this is like overkill for now. Also totems which is totally optional for a boss mule but these totems were like from a dark totem event which I don't remember ever doing but I did somehow. So yeah, if you're trying to like copy this or like 
try to go for it, but you can go some even lower. It doesn't have to be this strong, realistically. For like a but for a faster clear, like for every five minutes. Yeah, it's gonna be really fast. Could theoretically kill like normal Guardian Slime too, solo, but I haven't tried. Though my WSE isn't the best since you can see three line boss damage if I remember. Yeah, three line boss damage and three line magic attack. For my WSC, yeah. My Arcane Force though, it's like around 700. That's usually where I stop for my boss meals. But I think most people would have their boss meals stop at like around 500 or 200. But yeah, it, I can I understand that it does get pretty tedious with like Arcane dailies. So yeah, really understandable. And all that brings me up to 22k stat. Well, I didn't buff up yet though, but... And these are the, the inner abilities that I've gotten. Pretty good for now. I can get the buff durations like even better if I were like put more honor into it, but 20% should be fine. And see for my V Matrix, they're not that great because usually you want like the three primary note boost notes to be like 40, but this is fine for now. And the skills aren't even that leveled up to like a good decent amount of level. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Honestly, I, this is like my only perfect note that I have right here. I could possibly get like a a mirror note of this, but I don't really just want to spend that much anymore because I think it might be quite difficult to get, honestly. Also, all right, the Lynx and Legion that I use. Uh, this is like the farming Legion that I use, like when I'm grinding. And this is the bossing one that I use. Also, Legion. This is like for damaging for bossing. Usually, if you're like maining, like ice landing, or any explorer that uses like, or any class that uses buff duration, you want to have as much as right here. Buff duration. And it's what I use for farming. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have for Ice Lightning Boss Meal Showcase. My next meal I'll be working on is going to be my Nightwalker. As of currently up this video, it just needs a little bit more funding. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, this guy right here. And yeah, thanks for watching.